welcome back to my channel my name is Laura and today is Friday so I'm doing Friday reads I'm going to share with you what I'm currently reading and what I will be starting next week so um, the first thing is my audiobook my audiobook I am listening to the help and I am also following along within this is the library book because I don't own the book um, and I am at this is the large print and I'm on page chapter 23 473 so I am like almost finished. I'm hoping to finish this by uh, Sunday. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so this is my audiobook. I am really, really enjoying it. At first I didn't want to read it. And um, at this point I would definitely give it a four or four and a half. I am really enjoying it. And um, I definitely want to see the movie after I finish um, the end of this book. So um, yeah, it's a historical fiction. Um, it's about uh, slavery, uh, where they have uh, maids and um, uh, the black people don't have any rights, and it's really, really engaging, and I'm listening to it on audio, and it is done in multiple point of views, so you have, um, you have the maid, the main maid, and I think her name is Mabelie. Let's see, it's, sometimes it tells you in the chapters, but sometimes it doesn't. And then uh, there's the white uh, woman who is Miss Skeeter, and she's writing a book. Um, and there's Minnie, which is another maid. And one more, I think. Uh, Abilene. It's told by m many multiple point, point of views. And within the video, when they do the audio, the narration, the narration changes. So you know that there's someone else talking, which is really amazing. Uh, it's a great audiobook if you like to uh, listen to audiobooks. So, uh, yes, so this is my first book. Uh, the second book that I am reading is um, The Glass Castle. Um, I'm still continuing to read this one. Um, this one I'm, I'm struggling on. Uh, the reason I'm struggling is the font is very tiny. Um, so I have to wear my glasses, and I only have one set of glasses. So if I'm on the fir first floor and my glasses are on the second floor, I'm too lazy. So I pick up my other book. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, um, yes, uh, I am continuing to read this. This is my book club uh, book, and I will comment... Um, uh, as I read through this one, I am on page uh, 157. This is a nonfiction book, so it is a true story. Um, some of the stories, I think, they are really fabricated. Like, uh, they did, I keep on thinking, did this really happen? Did the, you know, um, but the author is writing and she's telling me that it's a true story. So I'm like, Wow, this really happened. So, uh, yeah. So this is, if I had to rate this one, I would probably give it a four, but I am struggling because of the, the writing is too tiny to read. So um, this book would have been finished if the font was bigger, <laughs> you know? So, uh, yeah, I am, I am enjoying it. Um, and, um, yeah, so this is the second book. And then the next book is City of Bones. The next book is City of Bones. I started this one. Uh, this is my second time trying to read this book. Um, I am on page uh, 98. Uh, so I think I got to the point where I already... Uh, this is the point where I put the book down and I didn't pick it up again. And I'm um, actually enjoying it the second time around, maybe because I already read the first part, um, but I am enjoying it. I did get up to page 98, and at 90, maybe 90, page 90, it started to give me new words and explaining more, and that's where I had to read the page twice because I couldn't figure out what a shadow hunter was and I was trying to figure out what everything is. They're explaining a lot more vocabulary that I never heard of before. So uh yeah, but I am enjoying so far the story. This this one's about demons and um as far as and shadow hunters. So um yeah it's different than what I normally read. So uh yeah I'm enjoying it. So I will continue reading this uh, for the rest of the week, and um, yeah, and it's a fat book. So, but that, but it's reading fast. So, and the font is big, so I don't have to wear my glasses, which is really good. So, that's this one. 
Now, while I was watching TV the other day, a movie came on, and I was, like, watching it, and I was like, oh, I, I, I think I have this book. This sounds like a book I own. So, of course, I own the book. So, I stopped the movie, and I DV, DVR'd it so I could watch it later, and I ran to my bookshelf, and I picked up Girl Interrupted uh, by Savannah Sayson, a uh, Kaysen, Kaysen. Uh, this is a true story about a girl who's 18 years old and she gets put into a mental institution in 1967 or 68. So that's just about the time that I was born. I was born in 1970. So, uh, yeah, and I thought this was pretty interesting. And, I, and the movie was pretty interesting of what I watched so far. But it's very different than the book. So, uh, yeah, I want to continue reading this one. I picked this one up and I read 61 pages already. So, yeah, so that's this one. So I am reading this one, too. This is nonfiction. So I have two nonfictions going. And fiction and um, two nonfiction, fiction, two fiction, two, one, one historical fiction and one fiction. And then I also picked up from, from the Amazon a new book that I didn't haul in my haul. So um, I started reading this one and it's called Choose Joy um, by Kay Warren. It's because happiness isn't enough. So my... Um, goal for 2016 is to uh, bring more joy into my life and uh, joy is my word that I chose for 2016 so I found this book and I picked it up it's nonfiction. it's how to bring more joy into your life and so I am reading bits and pieces of this like maybe a chapter a day or so and I am on page 29, so that's this one. So that's a nonfiction book. So those are the books that I am started already. I have two books that I'm, I'm going to start read soon um, and hoping that one or two of these will be finished and then I'll start the other ones. But today I'm supposed to be reading with Janie and I still have an allergy attack. <laughs> I still have allergies. <laughs> Um, I had to take a, um, I couldn't sleep, so I had to take some medicine last night. So, anyway, I am starting The Woods by Harlan Coben, and I'm reading this with Janie, and I'm supposed to be starting it today. Um, I don't know if she wrote me back. Um, I don't know if we're commenting back and forth yet, but, um, yes. So, I'm reading this. I'm hoping to start. I never read a Harlan Colin, Coben book, and I own a few of them. So uh, she chose The Woods, and we figured we would read this together. So I'm reading this with Janie. Um, and um, on Monday, uh, Read With Friends is starting a new book. So I am going to attempt to read Burial Rights by Hannah Kent. And I have no idea what this one's about, uh, but I own the book, and Goodre uh, Goodreads Read With Friends is reading it, and they're starting on Monday. And she usually has a breakdown for the week, so um, hopefully I will... Uh, follow along and catch up and start this one on Monday. So those are a lot of books and I'm hoping to finish at least two of these <laughs> out of all these books that I'm reading by Sunday and uh, get some off. But uh, Choose choose Joy I'm going to be reading for a couple of months. So that I'm just going to pick it up whenever I feel like I need it to pick me up. I'm going to read a chapter of that. So um, I read very frequently. I read in the morning when I wake up, and I read uh, before I go to work, and then when I come home from work, I read again. And then um, usually the audio book I'm reading uh, in the car going to work. So uh, I am reading almost all day long, so um, at least two hours a day or more. So um, I'm hoping to get um, some of these done. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video. Bye.